Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about new topic that is number systems. First of all, uh, in number systems, I will explain all the basic definitions which we have to learn in number systems. Uh, the first definition is natural numbers. The first definition is natural numbers. What is meant by natural number? Natural number is nothing but I'll just give you a brief introduction about all the definitions. So listen carefully. Natural numbers. Natural numbers is nothing but all counting numbers are called as natural numbers. All counting numbers. All counting numbers are called as natural numbers. Are called as natural numbers. In general, natural numbers can be denoted by n. Natural numbers can be denoted by n. Here, as we are saying that all counting numbers, counting numbers in the sense, whenever we want to count the numbers, we must start with 1. Here, natural numbers n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to infinite. Here, the natural numbers are 1 to infinite and the range is indicated by 1 comma infinite. Here, the natural numbers are from 1 to infinite. That is the range of natural number. This is the first definition. And the second one, whole numbers. Second one, whole numbers. What is meant by whole number? Whole numbers is nothing but all counting numbers, all counting numbers along with zero, along with zero, that is called as uh, whole numbers or else uh, all natural numbers including zero, including zero, that is called as uh, whole number. In general, we can denote whole number with W. We can denote whole numbers with W. Here W is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinite. Here the only difference between natural numbers and whole numbers is, uh, see, natural numbers are starting from 1, 2, 3 up to infinite. Whereas the whole numbers is nothing but uh, all natural numbers including 0. To all the natural numbers, if we include 0 also, those numbers are called as whole numbers. That is the only difference between natural numbers and whole numbers. And next one. Third one is integers. Third one is integers. Integers. Here, in integers also, we are having three types of integers. In integers, we are having three types of integers. One is positive integers, positive integers. Second one, negative integers, negative integers. And the third one is zero. Third one is zero. Positive integers, negative integers and zero. Positive integers. What is meant by positive integers? And uh, here the integers basically denoted by z. Integers are denoted by z. If it is positive integer, it is denoted by z plus. If it is negative integer, z minus. Now, positive integers are nothing but all positive values 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinite. We can also call positive integers as natural numbers. We can also call positive integers as natural numbers. Whereas coming to negative integers, negative integers is nothing but negatives of all natural numbers. Here these are natural numbers and negatives of those numbers. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on up to minus infinite. Negatives of all natural numbers that is called as uh, negative integers and finally one more is zero one more is zero total three types uh, one is positive integers negative integers and 
0. Here we can represent all these integers in a single line. Here this is 0. This is middle one is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinite. This is plus infinite. Whereas coming to this side, negative values, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on up to minus infinite. Right? So, if you observe carefully, all these are called as negative integers. Negative integers. And all these are called as positive integers. Positive integers. And this one is 0. This one is 0. Total three categories, uh, three types. Negative integers, zero and positive integers. Negative integers are also called as natural numbers. Okay. Now, the range of integers. Range of integers. That is, range is nothing but minimum value. What is the minimum value and what is the maximum value? Here, the minimum value is minus infinite and the maximum value is plus infinite. That is the range of uh, integers. This is about integers. And next one. Here the next one is. Fourth one. Rational numbers. Rational numbers. Rational numbers is nothing but. Here the numbers which are able to write in the form of P by Q. Numbers which are able to write in the form of P by Q. P by Q. Here, if you observe carefully, it must be in the form of a numerator and denominator. Numerator by denominator form. Both the numerator and denominator are integer values. Both numerator as well as denominator are integer values. But denominator value Q not equal to 0. Denominator value Q not equal to 0. Even though it is integer, but we should not take it as a 0. Why? Because if denominator is 0, that particular value is undefined. Therefore, the definition of rational number is all numbers which are able to write in the form of P by Q, where both P and Q are integers, but Q is not equal to 0. That is called as a rational number. And it is denoted by basically Q. Rational numbers are denoted by Q. Example, sir. If you take any integer that is from minus infinity to example, from minus infinity to plus infinite, whatever the value you will take, all those values are rational numbers. Why? Because uh, so many students have a doubt. Suppose if you take number 3. Is number 3 is rational or irrational? Definitely it is a rational number. Why? Because uh, here we can write this one as 3 by 1. We can write 3 as 3 by 1. Both numerator and denominator are integers. Denominator not equal to 0. It satisfies all the conditions of rational number. Therefore, 3 is a rational number. Okay? Now, all integer values are rational numbers and also 7 by 9, 8 by 17. All these kind of numbers are rational numbers. Now, coming to irrational numbers. Just opposite statement of rational numbers. Opposite statements of rational number. Here, rational number means what? Which are able to write in the form of P by Q. Here, not able to write in the form of uh, P by Q. P by Q in the sense, it is not a fractional value. The numbers which are not able to write in the form of uh, P by Q. That is called as irrational number. Irrational number basically denoted by Q dash or Q bar. Whatever it is. Okay. Q dash or Q bar. Example for irrational numbers. Root 2. Root 2 is one of the example. Here, so many students have a doubt that root 2 is equal to 1.414 and uh, 
they will take it as 1414 divided by 1000. It is in the form of P by Q and both numerator and denominator are integer values but denominator is not equal to 0. It satisfies all conditions of rational number. Why can't it is a rational number? Because the reason is root 2 is equal to 1.414. It is not the exact value of root 2. It is just an approximate value of root 2. Root 2 is equal to 1.414 is the approximate value of root 2. It is not exact value of root 2. If you do in Calci, you will get 1.414 something value. There is no end point to that number. That is the reason why root 2 is comes under irrational number. Not only root 2. Whatever the value in the square root except perfect square. Except perfect square. Root 2, root 3. Root 4 is a, perf 4 is a perfect square. So, root 4 is either plus 4 or minus 4. Root 5, root 6, root 7, root 8. 9 is a perfect square. Root 10. All these numbers except perfect squares in the square root and remaining all numbers in the square root are comes under irrational number. Okay. Other than these square root numbers, one more example is pi. One more example is pi and so many students here also they have a doubt that is pi is equal to 22 by 7. Pi is equal to 22 by 7. It is in the form of p by q both numerator denominator integer values but denominator not equal to 0. Right. Why can't it is rational number because again the same rule pi is equal to 22 by 7 is not exact value of pi. Pi is equal to, if you take pi is equal to 3.14 something, there is no end point to that number. Just for calculation purpose, in examination point of view, we will take pi is equal to 22 by 7. So, pi is also irrational number. Pi is also irrational number. Because of all these reasons, uh, we will consider pi as uh, irrational number and uh, the numbers except perfect squares in the square root. All those are comes under irrational number. Is it clear? Guys, uh, these are the definitions which are important uh, and few more definitions are there. Those definitions I will explain in the next session. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.